Welcome back to some more Resident Evil. I hope you're ready to continue exploring this mansion and uncovering some of the mysteries. I did do a little bit of inventory management, so I'm carrying my key, my mask, and the gold emblem. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Let me come through here. Hopefully avoid that zombie. I think we did okay. I didn't know that guy was going to be there, but thankfully I was able to dodge him. And I am headed back here to the dining hall. Now that I have the gold emblem, I can put it here where the wooden one was. And that will expose some gears on the clock. Now I want you to notice this painting on the left of the screen. You will see the gentleman on the left is sticking a short sword through the guy's abdomen. And the guy on the right is sticking his long sword through the guy's head. When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. It looks like you can turn the gears inside the clock and I will try it. So the clue is the painting that I told you to take a look at. So you want the long hand going through the head or the helmet and you want the short hand going through the abdomen or the body armor. So it's a little bit counterintuitive because in order to turn the small hand, you actually have to turn this large gear here and you can turn it either twice to the left or twice to the right as long as it ends up on the bottom. And there you go. We'll be able to get a brand new key out of that. Unlocking even more places for me to go in the mansion. So now I think I'm going to head back towards where Richard is. Gotta see how he's doing. Looks like he's hanging in there still. He's alright. I think though, it is finally time to go and confront the venomous snake that did this to him. Not terribly excited about it. And certainly this creepy door doesn't make my anxiety go down any. But we do have to go inside. Can discard this key finally because I'm done with it. But let's see what horrors await for me. So if you saved Richard, he'll actually help you with this fight as you can hear him shooting the snake with the shotgun. And don't forget to take this death mask over here. Now unfortunately the snake has a huge range of attack. So you have to be very careful to avoid it. And let Richard do his due diligence here. Okay, here he's just going to town on this snake. He is pissed. try to bring the snake around so Richard can damage it. There we go. Come on, Richard. There we go. Thanks. Jim! Richard! 
So no time for grieving. I'm going to pick up this assault shotgun that Richard dropped. And I am out of here. I will be back to deal with that snake later, but I can't do it right now. Poor Richard got eaten alive. Definitely not good. So we do need to do a little bit of backtracking here. Careful of that guy. And let me go in here for now. So you will see four statues move here. And if you come over here, you will see that the one with the sword has a little bit of a red etching to it. So that's the one I'm not going to touch. So basically the order for this is going to be pushing in this top right. All the way back. There you go. And then we are going to push this one. And then this one, and I'm going to leave the one with the sword alone. And it automatically goes back by itself, so pretty nice. Let me go ahead and read this. Woe to those who disturb my sleep. There's a switch here. I'm going to go ahead and press it. Excellent. So let me take this mysterious box. And actually, if I use it and examine it, you will notice that there is a heart piece here on the le on the right side. So I'm going to push this. So there's a switch that I'm going to press. And then there's another heart here. So I'm going to press that as well. That's going to make both of those glow and open up revealing a mask inside. Excellent. So I'm ready to get out of this area. Almost got eaten by that zombie, but thankfully I was able to use the door right away. I really should kill these zombies since I'm always coming back to this area. There's a note here. I left you some bullets in the room on the right. Feel free to use them if you manage to get yourself in trouble. Barry. Ah, oh, thanks, Barry. Good guy, Barry. Okay, so he left us a first aid kit. Or a first aid spray. And also some... Shotgun shells, I believe. Incendiary shells. That's right. Perfect. So I do need to deposit a few things here. Alright, so let me deposit the assault shotgun. And then let me deposit that. And this. And I'm going to deposit one of the masks because I need a lot of room in my inventory for now. And then let me head upstairs again. I'm gonna go through this store, which I haven't been in yet. So pretty weird music in here. I'm gonna be taking the red herb, of course. And then let me go through this door here. So there is a first aid box. We'll take it. And then let's see what else we got. There's an ink ribbon that I can take. And then finally, there's a green herb here. And then quickly, let me go ahead and use this. I can examine it and we'll open it up to get a first aid spray. Let's 
to get out of here. It's everything I needed to do in that room. Let me try this door now. Thankfully, I can pick my way in there. There is a pretty interesting room here. Let me read these files. Researchers will. A letter is slipped inside. The top part of the letter is torn off. The rest of the letter is legible. So actually, if you're playing as Chris, you can read the whole thing. And again, I will be doing a run with Chris after this one. Alma, I have tried to survive only to see you again. But my efforts only delay the inevitable. I am infected and there is no cure for what will follow. Except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. In an hour, I'll have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I'm sorry. Martin Crackhorn. Alright. So you can see this fish hook here kind of obvious on the painting. I'll definitely be taking it. So various types of fish hooks there. And then you will notice there is a golden bee here. Oh, I can't carry anything else. Alright. Hold on. Hold on. No, I don't want to press any switches. Let's... Combine this with the red herb. There you go. And then I'm also going to go ahead and use this because I'm going to need one more spot. Alright, so I will take the lure of a bee. No, I don't want to press the switch. I do want to combine this with that fish hook though. So it kind of has a stinger, as you can see. Then I'll come here. And I'll pick up the actual bee specimen. And replace it with the lure. And then finally, I will put the actual insect in here. And now I can press the switch. So this bee does come to life, which is unfortunate. Now, the important thing here is before you freak out and run away, don't forget to get the item. And then let's get out of here. Now, let me head back to the storage closet so I can make sure I have all the things that I need for the next part. Alright, so I think what I am going to end up grabbing here is, first of all, I am going to need my mask. That's going to be important. I do want to deposit this, and I want to get rid of the ink ribbon as well. Let me see where I put all that. I really should organize this, and I will be taking my shotgun with me as well. And let me go ahead and take some shells with me. I think they were down. Let me take some shotgun shells. All right. And let's go, shall we? So the doorknob looks like it's ready to fall apart. This door, I think you can only go through twice from this side on the playthrough. So just something to be aware. So I'm done with that key as well, thankfully. Let's go through here. Alright, so there's a pretty cool room here and some creepy crows. Creepy freaking crows. So let me show you this right here. Take a look at this painting. Lisa protected by the three spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. There's a switch at the bottom of the picture. I'm not going to press it yet. Take note of the colors. So a green crown, a purple necklace, and a red bracelet. And basically that is the solution to the puzzle. 
you need to make sure things get lit in the right color here. So I do need to press this guy. So it's a picture of a Valiant wearing a bracelet. And I'm going to press the switch to turn it red. Or orange, I guess. So this is a saint wearing a crown. And we'll go ahead and press that switch, turning it green. And then finally, this guy right here, Sage wearing a necklace, and we will turn it purple. Excellent. And now everything matches, and we can press this switch. And pick up the final fourth death mask here. And thankfully, we are right here where the catacombs are, so we are ready to go back down there with all of the death masks. Feels like forever ago when I was first down here. Alright, so here we go. So here is the first one, and let's go ahead and use the mask with the eyes. And that cannot be good, especially with all that blood just splattering out of there. Oh my god. Now certainly if this was real life, you'd want to stop at this point. Just go home, you know? Just go home. Get out of there. Don't try to be a hero. Oh, uh, I wasn't positioned properly. Alright. Get right in front of it. There we go. And then finally, the last mask here. Certainly not good. Not at all. A bloody coffin dropping like that? You know what? I'm getting my shotgun ready. That certainly cannot look good. Kind of looks like a crimson head, almost. It's a very werewolf like creature. So let me jab him. Usually he gets knocked down with the first shotgun blast, but that did not happen. Is he alive? I don't think he's alive. I think I got him. I did get eaten, unfortunately. Let me pick up some shotgun shells here. And then let me pick this up here. I'm gonna press the switch first of all so I can get out. And then I'm gonna take this stone and metal object. And then I will combine this with my shotgun. Make sure I'm nice and tip-top there. And let me unequip this. Alright, so let's get out of here. And I'm gonna head back here from where I came from. There is a zombie here. I'm gonna blast right past him and go through here. And then I do want to go fast here or else a dog pops out. And then let me use this. And then go through here before that pupper eats my face. Alright, so there is a battery pack I can t or a shotgun shell I can take with me. And then also 
a battery, and a first aid spray. And then let's keep moving. Alright, so I'll explain what I'm doing here once we come to it, but for now I need to stop this when it's facing west. And sometimes you can wait for the wind to slow down if you're not feeling very confident. But there you go, and that one is facing west. And you can see that will turn the dog to face west as well. And you don't want to press it again. Barry? Alright, I'm gonna keep going. A little too late for that, I'm already in the forest outside the mansion here. And now this one, the blue one, I do want to stop it when it's facing north. Perfect. And that's gonna turn that dog with the blue eyes to face north. Now, as you can see, the dogs are facing away from the gate, so that was the purpose of doing that. You want them both facing away from the gate so that you can pass through. Now, these crows, they will come and eat your face, so what I like to do is I just like to blast them. I like to blast them. Let me kind of try to do that. There you go. There you go. Plus, it's always fun to blow them up like that, because they... Oh. One of them got pissed off here, and it's still after me. Let me see if I can... Blow him away. Nope. Nope, he still got me. Are you kidding me? Alright, whatever. Let me go through here. There's something written. When the wind sweeps across the earth, stars will shine in the heavens. So let me place my wind crest here. And then there will be three emblems for me to collect. The sun, the star, and the moon. So I'll take the moon crest. I will take the star crest. And I will also take the sun crest. And now let me come over here and let me examine my items. So the moon has two lines on it. The sun has three lines on it. And the star has a cross. Alright, so now I can take a look at this and you will see that it will be two lines, cross, and three lines. So, moon, star, and sun. So, let's put them in that order. Let's go ahead and put the sun on there, too. Excellent. And this is going to reveal a magnum. Sweet. Gotta love the magnum. Definitely going to be taking that with me. And let's get out of here. Before these crows eat my face again. So that's pretty creepy, I would say, wouldn't you? I would. Let's keep going. Lots of dark woods to get over here. So let's go inside the shed against all common sense.
First things first, there's a map here. Map of the courtyard that I will take with me. And then uh, over here, I did not mean to do that. There is a family picture. A family picture and some notes, my dearest Lisa, or Lisa. There's a journal left by someone. 19. Daddy attacked first, mom attacked second, inside red and slimy, white and hard. Not true, mom, where? Do know, dad, found mom again. When attacked, mommy, she moved no more, she's screaming. Why? Just want to be with her. Mom, where? I miss you. So kind of creepy and it looks like it's Lisa from the architect's daughter. So very interesting indeed, I would say. So there's a chest here, which is always good in case you need to make any sort of deposits. Let me think for a little bit. Do I need to make any deposits? Uh, you know what? Let me go ahead and uh, come down here while I think and take this crank. Alright, I think I can deposit some stuff. Let me deposit this. And then let me deposit my shotgun shells as well. I think off screen I'm going to clean up this inventory, make it look a little bit nicer. Alright. And actually, let me use this. And you know what? I changed my mind. I forgot about something. I'm going to take my shotgun back with me. Alright. So that does not sound good. I don't think we're alone in here anymore. So something very creepy is happening. And yes, this is Lisa. Cannot kill her. Not at all. So what I like to do is I actually like to equip the Magnum. Fire off one shot. And then just run past her. I am out of here. The Magnum's very powerful, so you do want to conserve your ammo on it, but I think that's a justified use. Let me go ahead and unequip it. And let's get out of here, shall we? Oh no! I got lost as hell. I don't know how I managed to go around in a circle. I think I'm going the right way now. Excellent. That zombie's just enjoying the scenery, contemplating life, looking at the trees. What a clown. Be careful with the crows again. So I'm backtracking all the way inside the house here. Or the shack, I suppose. I like how the... Let me go back for a second. I like how the mansion looks from the shot in the background. It looks really cool. Now I can go through here. And then let me equip this. This is Brad. If you can hear me, just give me a sign. Anything. Jill to Brad, can you hear me? Shit. It's broken. So Brad is that helicopter pilot from the first episode. 
Sometimes you can run by these dogs, but if you stop to take the herbs like I'm doing, it gives them a better chance to attack you. That's why I got my shotgun just in case. Thankfully, I was able to avoid them, so I'll just keep going through here. So I think I can unequip my shotgun for now. Then let me go through here. And it looks like there's a slot for a crank, so let me put my crank in there. So you can hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. Excellent. Let's go on through. Very spooky out here, I would say. And there's an elevator that would take me deeper down. There are some crows here. God, I hate the crows. Actually, I think, uh, yeah, let me go this way. Past the waterfall and this iron gate here. Making sure not to miss this. I'm just gonna keep running here, that way I don't get eaten by any snakes. Don't want to get eaten by snakes. Not like our friend Richard. Alright, so there are a few blue herbs here that I need to be taking with me. Then let me do a little bit of management here. Let me combine the green with the red, if you remember from the herb lore book. That's a very good healing potion there. Alright, so got all those. And then let's head in here. Alright, let me grab this battery pack. Excellent. And the ink. Can't carry any more items, of course. Let me actually use one of these, I guess. There you go. I will take that. And as you can hear by the music and see by the typewriter and the storage, this is a good checkpoint and also a good stopping point for this episode. So I hope you're enjoying the playthrough. If you are, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. It takes you a second and it really helps my channel to grow. So I appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time for some more creepy mansion exploration and zombie slaying.